Hello and welcome. In this lecture, I will introduce the cross product of two vectors. The cross product of two vectors, such as vector P cross Q, is defined as P cross Q, which will resolve, result in a vector such as V. So we say P cross Q equals V. Just as a reminder, we had dot product before. P dot Q. And the result of that was a scalar number. It wasn't a vector, it was a scalar. And as you can see here, cross product of two vectors results in a vector. And a vector has a magnitude and has a direction. Now the magnitude of um, cross product magnitude equals P Q sine angle between them, sine theta. P is magnitude, Q is magnitude, and theta is the angle between those two vectors. That's for the magnitude. The direction of it, however, is identified by right-hand rule. And it's you curl your fingers from P to Q, and it's important whether it's from Q to P or P to Q, P to Q, because we're crossing P first, so it always starts from the first vector to Q vector. And your thumb will point towards the resultant vector. As you can see, if we cross Q by P, then we have to curl our uh, fingers from Q to P, and as a result, our thumb is going to point down. So here is another example, um, A cross B and B cross A. So textbook, this is, these are from Hibbler, and textbook, every time you use bold, it means a vector, but just to uh, be sure, I'm going to add arrows here to make sure that we know these are vectors. So two important law that we are going to use, A cross B is opposite of B cross A, the direction of it. The magnitude is still the same. And another one that we're going to use later, it's called distributive law, A cross vector B plus D equals A cross B plus A cross D. So these are the two important laws of operations that you need to remember. Of course, there are multiple others, but we're not going to use them in um, statics course. So let's figure out how to calculate cross product of two vectors. Meaning, if I have A cross B, and A, of course, has AX, AY, AZ, I, J, K, and B has BX, BY, BZ, I, J, K, how to find the vector that is result of these two by calculation. So in order to do that, we need to first figure out what is I cross J, what is I cross I, J cross I, and so on. So let's start. So let's see, I cross J, it will be magnitude of I, magnitude of J, which is one, these are unit vectors, and 
um, it's going to be sine angle between those two. What is the angle between I and J? It is 90. So this is the magnitude of it. The direction of it is by right hand rule, as you can see here. Curl your fingers from I to J, and your thumb is pointing to the direction. So the direction is this. So I cross J is going to result in K. And you can guess J, J cross I. The only difference is you curl your fingers from J to I, therefore it's going to be minus K. Let's see another example. I cross I. Magnitude is 1, 1, sine, the angle between I and I, which is 0. And the direction is curling from I to I, which is going to be, could be, direction of k totally but because this is 0 so let me put k here just because I'm curling my fingers from i to i and this will result in 0 and same thing with j cross j and k cross k these are going to be 0 so there is a helpful hint that you can remember so all of the i cross i, j cross j, k cross k is going to be 0. For anything else, you can move on this circle. i cross j will result in k. j cross k will result in i. k, result, k cross i will result in j, and so on. So if you're moving with this direction, counterclockwise they're going to result in plus k plus i plus j but if you're going opposite so k cross j will result in the other one which is minus i and so on so now with knowing that let's just start calculating the cross product of a cross b so i have a x i a Y J A Z K B X I B Y J B Z K all right so I gotta do these two these two and these two so let's see a X these are magnitudes there's no cross product between magnitudes but the vector part will get cross product each other. And I have I cross I. That's the first term. Second term, one, two, three. Second term is going to be A I A X B Y. And I have I cross J. The third term is going to be A X b z i cross k so that's the first one the second one i have to do these three terms which i'm gonna skip and then finally i have to do a z b x a z b y and a z b z so if i do all of these and every time i i is 0 jj is 0 and kk is 0 i will get the final answer as a cross b equals a y b z minus a z b y i a x b z minus a z b x j plus ax by minus ay bx k so this is cross product of those two vectors and it's kind of hard to memorize 
and calculate it. So there is a much better way of finding A cross B, an easier way to remember. You got to form a determinant or a matrix and find a determinant of it. You put I, J, K on the first row. Then you put components of the first vector, which is AX, AY, AZ, the second row, and component of the third vector on the third row, BX, BY, BZ. Now all you have to do is find the determinant of this uh, matrix. And I hope everyone remembers how to do the determinant. I bring I here and then get rid of this column and this row. And then I'm left with a much smaller 2 by 2 matrix. Then I bring J here with a negative sign. This is very important. Don't forget that. This is part of the equation. And then I get rid of this row and this column. And whatever left is AX, AZ, BX, BZ. And lastly, I bring K here. Only J has a negative in front of it. And then get rid of this row and this column and whatever left, I gotta find the determinant of that one. Finding the determinant of a two by two matrix is much easier. It's just this, these two multiple by each other minus these two. So it's basically I, A, Y, B, Z, minus a z b y for j it's these two minus these two a x b z minus a z b x and for k same thing these two minus these two a x b y minus a y b x and this is how you calculate the cross product of two vectors. So first line, unit vectors of x, y, z, Cartesian unit vectors, components of first vector, components of second vector and as you can see in my final answer i have i j k and that's that's okay because cross product of two vectors is a vector in the next lecture and uh, lectures and videos i will explain how we're going to use cross product of two vectors in our course thank you